Hey there, Marielle, you know, with talking about pools and swimming, a lot of them just opened about 15 minutes ago, local public pools. So you can imagine with the weather outside today, lots of students are going to be out and about since they're mostly out of school right now. Yeah, that's actually a great idea, especially when we're talking about a heat index already. It's not even noon yet. Yeah, uh, it already feels like the 90s for some locations outside. But you know, one of the big challenges in some of our local areas is going to be finding a pool that's open. You know, the, many of the municipalities are dealing with life uh, guard shortages right now. Oh, that's but I know right. in the city of Dallas, um, all pools are going to be open next weekend, but they have about three at the coves open right now in addition to Bahama Beach. Oh, that's yeah. uh, that's great news. Next weekend, it's going to warm up even more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about what it looks like outside. We have a little bit of cloud cover out there, and it is also breaking up temperature of 86. That's the actual temperature, but it feels like 91, and it's because of our dew point or what it feels like uh, because of the humidity. Our measure of moisture is up to 70. That's one of the higher numbers we've seen this season so far. Winds still out of the south at about 17 miles per hour. The remainder of the day it stays breezy. Winds out of the south 15 to 30 miles per hour. I know a lot of you on Twitter have been saying why is it so windy? Well, we have another day of that and that's going to continue for at least tomorrow as well. Just a heads up. Temperature near 92 degrees around 3, 95 degrees around 5, 91 around 7. We'll top out in the mid 90s area wide across the Metroplex. The closer to the Red River you are, the slightly cooler it'll be, if you can call it that. 91 in Sherman and in Bonham, 90 in McKinney for this afternoon. Here's our wind gust forecast. Not as high as yesterday. Yesterday we had wind gusts close to about 40 miles per hour. This time around about 30 miles per hour. It's enough to cause an inconvenience, uh, but it may also help cool down, you know, whenever you're outside. Because look at these numbers. Today, mid 90s. Wednesday, mid 90s. A cold front comes in. That's what's going to allow our temperatures to drop into the 80s for Thursday, Friday, closer to what's considered normal for this time of the year. And this weekend, temperatures right back into the 90s with upper 90s looking likely to round out the weekend and bring in next week. Our rain coverage is also going to go up with that front. And that again is going to be coming Wednesday into Thursday, about 40 to 50% coverage. Today, that cold front is in the panhandle and that's what's going to cause the threat for severe weather there. We are not included in that risk today. That front actually will sink in late Wednesday into Thursday and bring us that potential for rain, but it's going to be scattered at best. Like I said, we're going to have about 40 to 50% coverage of rain Thursday. Uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, and you can see it there very early Wednesday. We see this area of rain kind of moving through uh, portions of North Texas, and then it becomes really scattered as this front stalls to our south. So be prepped for the rain. A lot of us won't see it, though, and a lot of us won't pick up a lot of rain anywhere between a tenth to maybe a quarter inch across the Metroplex, Denton, Collin County to the north and uh, west. We could see closer to about quarter inch to one inch of rain, which would be absolutely beneficial, especially as we go into those summer months. The first start um, of meteorological summer, by the way, is tomorrow, same as the start of uh, hurricane season. Speaking of, we had Hurricane Agatha made landfall yesterday. It is now just remnants of Agatha. It went over some very rocky terrain over Oaxaca, Mexico, and this will continue to move towards the north, and the remnants of that could very well uh, enhance and in, turn into a cyclone over the southern Gulf or the Yucatan. 60% chance of cyclone formation in the next five days and if that happens it'll cause for some windy weather and as well for some heavy rain in southern Florida. Until then, though, we're looking at pretty uh, dry conditions today and tomorrow. Better chance for rain tomorrow night into Thursday. Highs into the upper 90s for next week. Summer is coming back in a big, big way. Back to you.